What's up, Hepcats? It's Duop Mario here with Modern Vintage Lifestyles. I've got another Hepcat Essentials video coming for you, and it's on the sport jacket or the sport coat, as famously worn by Elvis Presley. Of course, you remember, Elvis Presley is the king of Hepcats, and so whatever you wore is good enough for us. And so we follow his guidelines for style and fashion just by looking at what he wore, and that's good enough. Before I begin, I'd like to show you guys what I'm wearing just to show you that it takes nothing special really to rock a sport coat. Take a look at what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just a regular 50 shirt with the neck loop and a nice long rounded collar. I've got the, an original 1950s belt. Um, this one I got on eBay and then I got the high waisted Hollywood slacks. Of course, I'm also wearing my white bucks as I always wear. I think they go best with any 1950s outfit. So I want to show you I've got seven sport coats here of various colors and I want to show you how versatile these are with the 50s outfit. They pretty much go with anything you're wearing. So let me go ahead and put on the first jacket so you can see what it looks like. There you go. So this one's a gray fleck jacket. Let me go up so you can see the detail of this. It's got white flecks all over. 1950s jackets usually had a label on the inside right here, on the inside right chest pocket. And uh, this one has a name tag on the inside along with the union label. Uh, that's how you can identify 1950s jackets. Now take a look at my collar here, it's all messed up. Elvis did wear it popped up, the collar popped up. Now if you have a collar that does pop up, this one kind of does. But I don't know, I think it looks kind of douchey. So usually I, what I do is, uh, not that Elvis looked douchey, he did not look douchey at all, he looked really cool. But when I do it, I feel like I look like that. So I'd rather just wear normal all around. And my shirt button keeps opening up right there. And that's how it looks. It goes well with the gray pants, but as you will see in a moment, now all of the jackets are gray. They're different colors, I have a tan one, a lighter tan, a brown one. And so, let's go ahead and do the next one. This one's a nice blue, navy blue, with a white flex jacket. Um, this one doesn't really go well with the pants I'm wearing, but if I were to change the pants to, let's say, uh, a blue color pant or uh, even black, it would look much better. Um, so, how about the next one? This one looks much better with the outfit I'm wearing. Uh, again, this one's flecked. All my jackets are flecked. When you're looking for a 1950 sport coat, you want to look at the inside right hand side pocket. And uh, this one looks, still has a dry clean ticket. Uh, this one says uh, Jim Clinton. And if you look on the inside, most of them usually have the union label. It's a tag that they all had. Um, and they all, I don't know the material. I think it's wool, but um, they're pretty much all made the same way or tweed. I don't know. I don't know the fabric, but I know what it looks like. Let's do the next one. So here's the next one. Lighter color and also with flex. I'm telling you, the Hepcat really looks after Elvis Presley and his style. Elvis Presley, you see him on stage all the time performing with a jacket and later on he would take it off and he'd be wearing whatever he was wearing under, right? But uh, he would always go out with dress pants, penny loafers maybe two-tone, well, I don't know, whatever kind of shoes he was wearing, and uh, a sport coat. And hey, it always looked classy and elegant. So Elvis Presley, really, all eras, he surpasses everyone in fashion. So hey, why not, 1950s. This next one is black. And uh, although it goes well with the pants, the shirt doesn't really fit. Or if I keep the shirt, I would have to change the pants to maybe some black ones, but um, you can see over and over how easy it is to wear a sport coat with just whatever outfit you're wearing. It could be a short sleeve that you're wearing underneath, um, a cable knit, slacks, and your shoes, and you can still put on the sport coat and it'll still look good. So for the Hepcat Essentials, you want to have a sport jacket, maybe a different colors, maybe three or four of them that you can wear with your uh, shirt with the collar popped out, or even if uh, you want to wear it with a tie, that also looks very good. So. Um, I got two more to show you, so let's go ahead and look at that. This one's by far one of my favorites because it's got the nice shoulder pads here. It gives me a nice square look. And um, the th only thing is that the sleeves are too long. I got to get them 
uh, shortened. But um, most of the jackets, I haven't mentioned, most of the jackets are square cut in the back. They do have a flap, some of them, uh, in the center. But uh, for the most part, they got to be really close to your butt when you're wearing them. Uh, this one is just all around Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley would wear them uh, of all various styles, usually the box cut with no flap. But uh, it really doesn't make a difference. All right, finally we end with this one. This one doesn't even have a button right here that I can button it up, but I need to get one. So it must have fallen off. Uh, but uh, this one is the last one. Again, it's flat. And as you can see, every single jacket pretty much look good with this shirt. It may have been the pants that don't match well, but that's why you have different colored pants and you wear them with, uh, you know, whatever goes with the jacket too. But uh, the jacket and the pants don't have to match. They could just be a different color and it'll offset it. It'll look really good anyway. And so as you can see with the, the ones that I wore today. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, as far as finding where to purchase these, you want to go to a, a vintage shop. They'll have them for about 50 bucks and up, depending on the design or the, you know, the flex. Uh, or the flea markets, you could get some for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. You just got to know what to look for and uh, they're pretty easy to spot again you just look at the inside chest pocket and the label and then you a union label somewhere in one of the pockets and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time